Here we go. Players are going to go ahead and start. And we're going to be seeing Scizor versus Sceptile. Okay, so I have a little bit of experience with Scizor myself. So, um, as for how I deal with Sceptile, it's going to be really interesting. Um, Scizor can have a hard time getting some moves in. Um, he's a little bit slow and kind of has some awkward hitboxes. But I don't know. He could have a way around using uh, a way around Sceptile's um, trap. So, this could be interesting to see. Here we go. Rasmi playing a very projectile based game right now, and now he's gonna be able to get in with that full press side Y right now. Oh, there we go. Goes for a straight bullet punch, able to combo off it into the 6YY. Some big damage. Game Genie not able to react to the mix up that bug bite. Coming in through. It's a very risky mix up, though, as it leaves a wild time for your opponent to be able to react. Alright, so, ah, oh man, Game Genie just not able to get a single hit, and Rasmi is looking at a perfect right now and gets it right there. Alright, so Rasmi in a very commanding way with that scissor. Definitely been getting a lot of practice in. And he's already going to be going into the next round with a full synergy first stage going. Game G does have Lit, and I want to see if he's going to be able to do much with that. I think Lit is a really good um, support choice for winning over in field, as it's very, very fast in field. Alright, there's a nice counter right there. Rasu going straight in with that 6x. A little bit risky, it's very easy to counter, so get some stuff out right there. Game G with that Giga Brain, so you know that synergy leads to a combo into Leaf Blade, and ending with a 8Y, leaving a nice defense debuff onto Rasmu. There we go, Litten snagging a hit right there, playing Game Genie in a really good situation, but you turn a great reversal move right there, snagging it. Oh, risky detect, but Rasmin being very patient. Nice grab right there, beating out the counter. Game Genie's looking at a pretty solid lead right now, he still has his burst to fall back on if he needs it, then again, so does Rasmu. Alright, let's see. So now, oh, Game Genie snagging a trap right there, just doing a little bit of pieces, and go ahead, use the burst, he really wants to solidify this win here. Oh, does get beat out by the counter though. Is Rasmus gonna pop his first response? Ooh, walks up the shield, wasting away Game Genie's burst. Hmm, interesting trade there. I think that was the 8 Y that Rast um Game Genie used. Oh, here comes the combo off. Alright, so now this is a very even game right now. Can Rasmus finish this off in a pretty big comeback, or is Game Genie gonna snag just one more series of hits right now? So close. Ooh, and that back Y right there. Snagging that's a huge hitbox, but it's also very risky as if it misses or is countered, Blee's says are very vulnerable. Anyway, so that was good stuff. Rasmu taking the first game right there. Alright, so let's see. I think I think so I got Game Genie just said he's gonna be switching his support choice. Support. Oh, he's staying for Okay, he's staying for it. Alright, so we're gonna be getting a run back here. Going to Magikarp Festival. Of course, the Sticks Ballerina doesn't really mean too much. That's all stages or exact tricks. Um, fair stadium. But anyway, it's good music, anyways. Alright, so now. Ooh, using that nice hang right there to be able to snag it. And the Flash get grab crushing right now. Putting up some nice traps. Excellent U turn by Rasmu predicting the JX. Alright. Uh, Bull Punch is really good at snagging out vulnerable because it's a series of five hits, so it's really, really good at catching it's those small little frames. I think using an interesting use of backlash, um, especially the uncharged version. It's very, very one-year projectile to be really easily avoided, but if it does hit, can we take a good amount of damage? Well, able to convert off of that counter. Rasmus going to a full combo, ends it with the JX instead of the JA. So we get a bit of miscalculated PSP. Man, Game is having a hard time going in. Off to use Poplio, that's an interesting choice. I wonder if he can do anything with that double jump, or are we just doing it for simply the attack buff? Oh, not able to get through that counter right there. Rasmus in a pretty good lead right now, has his burst at the ready. Game Genie, though, is only just a little bit away from his own. So let's see. Now Game Genie, I'll pick use Lit, and I think that's probably a better choice for this matchup in particular. Ooh, nice, pushing him in. Oh, ending with the Leaf Storm right there. That was an excellent, very quick combo by Game Genie, putting himself in a really nice lead right at the bat. Oh, that day. Um, 2x not working out for Rasmu. Gonna be hit by a full combo. Alright, here comes a 6x. Oh, Rasmu really could get a lot more damage out if he goes for the full hits of JY instead of going for only the first hit. Anyways, so both players are sitting at their burst, kind of hesitant to use them. Although I would suggest Game Genie should use this pretty soon here, as he is in a very tight situation. That JX is gonna connect, and there we go, exactly what I was thinking about right there. Was full hit to JY, adding a lot more damage. Alright. Now both players are going into their burst right now. Perhaps using Jirachi, that's an interesting choice. Um, Sword does have a pretty slow burst to 
he personally thinks he's just fighting Jirachi. But it's still very powerful to use because Scissor Damage Output can just skyrocket with the Jirachi buff. Oh, and there we go, that first connecting right there, snagging that win. Jirachi is going to beat Game Genie 2 0 here. Very nice stuff. Anyway, so Jirachi, again, a bit of an interesting choice to use this support. Um, I think uh, Scizor is a 200cc character, even though he does get his crowds up quickly. But I think it's a bit interesting dynamic, like, often we go for Jirachi over usually something like Eevee or something like that. It's a pretty standard pick for Scizor. Anyway, yeah, so those players.